All righty. So I'm going to do a, this is going to be a quick video, Da Vinci uh, editing a wedding ceremony in Da Vinci. And just to show real quick, I have my main audio right here. This is the main audio. Here's one camera angle I've laid out right here. This is like all of a ceremony. This is all ceremony. Here's another camera angle. Here's another camera angle. And here's the last camera angle. So there's four camera angles, one audio. This stuff is not part of it. And this stuff is not part of it yet. So real quick, I've already gone through this, all this video. And I've basically started with this bottom one, found all the best parts of the video of this track of this angle. I'm going to disable these real quick. I've found all the best parts of this camera angle and I've left them and you can see these gaps right here. This is where the footage got shaky. It didn't look good. So I deleted it. This part is disabled because it's also not going to be making it to the edit. As you can see, there's like a bunch of people's heads in the way. I'm just going to disable that. Um, the next part I did is I went through this whole camera angle and I cut out all the bad parts, left the good parts that were going to be salvageable. I haven't edited the thing yet. I've only been cutting out like the parts that will guaranteed not make it. Here's the third angle. And I've actually finished this one too. So these clips are really dark, but I'll be able to lighten those up. Um, but the, so far we have one, two, three camera angles that all have the best parts from the ceremony. And then the last one was going to be this one, this angle. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go through here, find everything that's going to be salvageable from this angle. I'm quickly skimming through it to see if there's any uh, camera shakes, any like blurry things, any people walking in front of the camera lens. And as you see, I'm, I'm going through it pretty quick. And if I get through it all and it's, there's nothing wrong with anything in these clips, that's all right too. Okay. So I've gone through this whole thing. There's a weird one. So someone walks in front of the camera. It's actually people getting up. Um, I'm just going to delete this part because it's not going to be used. I'm only going to be able to rely on this angle down here because there's no other clips to use. And then I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And then that little part, I will cut to this part. And then they're walking out. So I don't want to make these videos, this video too long. But as you can see, I went through this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and I've cut out all the bad things. Phase two is now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to dial in. I'm going to take out these parts um, of this clip right here and then make sure that I can use one of these angles below here to fill in the gaps. So like there's a gap right here and there's, I have to use this part of the video on this track right here. There's no doubt I have to use this part to fill in this gap for sure. So I know this part is staying, but maybe, maybe this part won't stay. You know, and then I'll get to these other parts where I'm going to piece it all together. And this is more like the art part of it all. Like what I just did was more like you kind of got to do it. There's no real thought. There's no like artistic thought process to it. You're just taking out the bad parts, leaving the good parts and then setting it up so you can make a good edit and have all good clips or pretty good clips to use to create your ceremony edit. So I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to be too long and I'm just going to keep making more videos. Hopefully I'll keep them even shorter than this. 
um, to check out more. Thanks.